Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Friday. We made it through another week, so yay. <laughs> Weather outside today is sunshine. Uh, cool, a little cool, mid, mid to low 20s here, um, and a little bit of a breeze, but warming up into the 30s again today, and we'll take the sunshine, we'll take those warm temps, right? So today is another fun t-shirt Friday, and I'll show you the t-shirt that Jess got for me for Valentine's Day. A rainbow tree there, and on the back it says Adventure Pride. And Adventure Pride is an organization for, oh, sorry, bumped the table there, an uh, organization for the LGBTQ community and their allies to support outdoor adventures and activities. So, uh, Jess and I learned about Adventure Pride from Micah Meyer. Uh, he is the son of my internship supervisor, Pastor Larry Meyer. Uh, so I, we, I met Micah when he was about seven or eight years old, something like that, when we were in Nebraska for our internship. Um, but Micah came out as gay a, f a few years ago after after his dad had died. Um, uh, as a as a as a I think it was twenty nineteen twenty years old or something like that, and Larry had died a few years before that, um, and has been a, a a real active voice for the gay community, and. Uh, a few years ago, uh, he took a three-year van trip to visit every single park, monument, lakeshore in the national park system. Uh, there's something like 300 and some parks and lakeshores and monuments in the in the park system, but he visited them all, and and you could follow his travels on, on the map uh, online. He would he would post pictures, and he he had a map that he would trace his route. So it was good, great fun to follow him uh, on his adventure. Uh, currently, he is running across Mississippi because Mississippi is uh, has is known for uh, being maybe one of the most anti-gay, homophobic states in the nation. So he is currently running across the state. So you can follow his adventures. Uh, just go to micahmeyer.com. That's Micah with a K, micahmeyer.com, or you can follow him on Facebook. So I can find him there. So uh, Jess and I are glad to support Adventure Pride and support Micah. Um, we supported his trip uh, to all the national parks. And we support, uh, previously to his run across Mississippi, he ran across the state of Minnesota, his home state, or where he lives now anyway. His home state's Nebraska, but he lives in Minnesota now. So anyway, uh, that's a little bit about the t-shirt and how I, it came to be on uh, uh, how I came to have one. It was a gift from Jessica for Valentine's Day. So, yeah, I think that's all. Check out Micah's travels. It's an interesting story he has to tell. So on to our devotional, story to tell. Speaking about a story to tell, devotional for Lent. Uh, today is for February 26th, of course. I'll show you the picture. and It's a couple of kids enjoying a huge pot of spaghetti there. Look. Uh, eating. Mm. And our scripture reading is Mark 2, 14 to 16. As Jesus was walking along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in Levi's house, the scribes of the Pharisees said to his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? And the two-ponder part is part of a sermon uh, given by Pastor William Barber, a sermon at the Disciples of Christ General Assembly. Here's what Pastor Barber says. It is God's intent that the stones that were once seen as unfit to be part of the architecture, the stones that were once thrown away, or kept in the quarry, have now been called to be the chief cornerstones. Whenever you see rejected stones and rejected people becoming the focus of society, it is the Lord's doing. The devotional is titled, No Accounting for Taste. Oh, and just a reminder, this was written by Pastor Becky Lorman, mother, student, pastor at pastor, mother, and student of Ibram Kaveni in San Diego, California, uh, living with her spouse, Marcus. So, had to get that in there, too. So, the 
devotional is titled, No Accounting for Taste. What is God calling you to be? You might think, God isn't calling me into service. I'm not kind enough, humble enough, good enough. In fact, I'm a huge liability. Here's the thing. You might be right about being a liability. Levi, the tax collector, was a liability. His presence attracted the scrutiny of the Pharisees and scribes, which eventually got Jesus killed. Then again, maybe Levi's presence wasn't a liability. Maybe that was the point. Maybe Levi was called to follow, not to advance Jesus' cause, but because he was Jesus' cause. Before you discredit yourself today for being too X, Y, or Z, remember that God has a long history of choosing to love and call folks in a way that makes no logical sense to us. Our lives move to the beat of a God who loves in God's own way, with no accounting for taste. We, we run into that sometimes, don't we? You know, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't, you know, God wouldn't call me. I'm, I know who I am and, I, and God couldn't use me. And um, but yeah, God, Jesus calls Levi. Uh, God calls David, the, uh, a boy to be a king. Uh, God calls Moses, who, who had a, has a speech impediment to go and speak to Pharaoh. Uh, God calls Sarah and Abraham. <laughs> Two old people to bear a child? Yeah. Makes no logical sense sometimes that God would call me or that God would call you. But that's what God does. God calls you into ministry. Uh, yeah. So, with that on your minds, be of strong heart and courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks, uh, keep uh, distance when you're out in public. Uh, these are ways we show love to our neighbor. And I also forgot to do this. Cheers, church. Have a, have a, have a good day. <laughs> we'll do a prayer. We'll do a cheers. We'll do a prayer, and then we'll be out of here, okay? Cheers. Okay, here's the prayer. I'm sorry, a little bit convoluted this morning, but hey, it's Friday. It's the weekend. Let's pray. Jesus, you chose to dine with the likes of Levi. So I'm going to stop trying to figure out why you want me in your company and just accept the fact that you have strange taste. I couldn't be more grateful for that. Amen, right? Amen. Blessings upon you this weekend. Enjoy the worship service that will be posted Saturday night for the second Sunday of Lent. Uh, peace.